I didn't think it'd last. I think I'm about to say something very poetic. Ever since the dawn of recorded history, human beings have been using sticks to make their marks in all kinds of surfaces in order to leave a message that would last the ravages of time, tide and history. And it did sound good. I'm going to show you some of my home movies now. In the British Museum I saw some little clay tablets that have been carved with a stick. They were pocket sized. And then there was the gigantic Rosetta Stone carved in three languages. Then I went on a little trip to Turkey just to see how the chooks over there live and I went to Ephesus, the ancient Roman city seaport. There I saw this huge stone which had been left at the gates of the city so all seafarers and traders could read the rules of the port and the tariffs charged. The words are still visible today, 2,000 years later. And then I came here to Tillett's Memorials, where I discovered by observing and looking at all the things they do here, that the harder the medium and the deeper the mark, the more significantly the message is regarded and the longer it lasts. I also learned that the ancient Greeks used to carve in clay or stones and they used a stick or a carving tool which they called a carax, a pointed stick. The marks they called karagma, and the final impression they called caractea. The word then moved over through Latin and French to English as character, and it came to take on a variety of meanings. It can mean something related to a person with a huge personality, like a singer, Luciano Pavarotti. I happen to have had the privilege of having my photograph taken with Luciano Pavarotti's wax effigy in Madame Tussauds. It can mean someone with a huge personality, someone like Dame Edna. It also refers to distinguishing marks or a person's way of being in a personal life. Not only that, one dictionary refers to character as marks or impressions on our soul. You'd have to ask if these marks or indentations in our lives can be noticed so easily, then we all ought to be more careful about how we live. Imagine the impact if everybody lived by character qualities. Take patience, for example, waiting without getting annoyed, persevering pleasantly under challenging circumstances, or determination, firmness of will to complete something once started. You'd hope that the best characters could be stamped on your soul and would last forever.